Today we're going to be uh, unboxing the DeWalt a Professional Series battery charger and maintainer and we're going to take a look at it, how it works uh, on my car uh, which uh, recently the battery charge and uh, I'm pretty sure the alternate is good it's just I don't do enough miles on it every day about 10 miles each day back and forth and so let's we'll take a look at it we're going to get charged up see how long it takes right after this Okay, let's uh, unbox this. This is the, again, the DeWalt Professional Battery Charger and Maintainer. This is the 80 slash 30 amps uh, continuous, as well as so it will allow us to do two batteries at the same time if we want, and uh, do an alternated test. So let's take a look at what's inside. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Let's take that open. Ah. Uh, I like it because it's very compact and shell spacing. So we got first inside, nothing inside the box. So user manual comes with it as standard. We have a little fuse. A nice book how to tell us how to use the charger so we'll take a look at that in a second inside nice casing it's very nice i like it because it's of this portability size not too heavy we have the pigtails for additional power charging the power cords really nicely cover underneath here as well as it comes with two adjust positive negatives to get us charging so we'll let's go take a look at it in action as you can see we'll be charging my s2004 it's currently has the battery drain mostly because uh well, i don't drive it now so the battery will last typically about four years so let's let's see what's uh let's see how this works in action hey guys as you guys can see i have a preset up here uh, and it's uh charging i plugged it into the pick uh to the battery in the back we have here the rear voltage uh we're gonna start uh, as long as long as everything is good automatically should come up and telling you the voltage um before we start the charging uh please let me know what previous charger professional chargers you guys used in the comments below or what kind of trigger chargers uh that you guys use to maintain your cars um so let's get started we're gonna press the charge button over here it's gonna start the ampage as you can see, and this should take about a couple of hours to fully charge the battery, as well as we got a couple of different options for this. We could plug in a second charge up here, which we'll do, we'll do at 15 amps instead of 30 amps from the back. Uh, you got the uh, engine starter, you can do reconditioning, which we should, we'll do the ba uh, battery later. Um, to do the multi-bank, so you have to press this button, as well as you can do alternate tests or use it in the front for USB and extra power to charge other items uh, in a non-charging mode. So uh, we can show that later. But at the moment, it started was pretty straightforward to get it set up. Uh, it's pretty flat, so in seconds, I will close the hood on this car so it could just run in the background or move it down to the floor. But uh, I like the position where it's at now. It's sitting very nice flush on the um, f uh, on the air filter box so let's see hopefully in a couple hours uh, this is fully charged um, if you like the video please subscribe and like the video hey guys so the battery has finished charging it's about two hours later and we're in the dark now at night time here uh, yeah so now we should be able to verify the alternative test It's doing something. The main reasons I picked this up was actually having an LCD display. Most of the battery chargers out there today, these days, don't have. They have the little LCD or something in between. 
um, but I wanted to ensure that I could get a voltage reading and be able to charge it and have a battery start at the same time. So, so far this looks like a pretty good product. Uh, at the moment I'm happy with it, so let's see if it starts. So I just tried starting up the battery and obviously my first try of this product seems to be interesting because it did not start. So we're going to try recharging it again, see what happens and let that run for a bit. Obviously, you can see that's going up and down, up and down, up and down. So hopefully, it will charge this this time, and then we'll try the engine start um, portion to see if we can boost it. If this doesn't work, then uh, we'll try the regeneration battery and find out what's next again uh, first it looked pretty good at first glance uh, but now since the car did not start on first try after it went to flow which i expected the full charge uh, of battery having it so we'll give it uh, another chance It's morning now and the car spent the last 12 hours reconditioning um, the battery. So I'm gonna stop that process and let's see how the battery looks right now. Uh, shows seven point volts. So we're gonna now start the 7%. And so let's see if we could uh, recharge the battery and then see if everything will start afterwards. Stay tuned. And for some reason, the mask it goes into reconditioning state. Something doesn't like it automatically. I guess I'll let this uh, go on for another couple hours. And let's come back. So after 24 hours now of reconditioning and retrying to charge the battery still won't uh, start the car. I don't know if this device is faulty. I try using the engine start and it doesn't seem to be functioning. It won't, uh, using the engine start feature it doesn't seem to work. Uh, so I'm really having some real doubts about this uh, charger and starter. I was hoping it shows when it, uh, it starts the battery and randomly it's going to this reconditioning mode. So, so we could go here, we could start it. As you'll see, it, should, it will enter the reconditioning mode but it is getting higher voltage each time so maybe it did something but I just don't see this fully working as um, described maybe I'm missing something here so if you guys know what the issue is or I should return this device let me know in the comments below well, let's watch this and hopefully it entered the reconditioning mode by itself a uh, um, couple of minutes ago and I just restarted again. We just finished uh, fully charging. The system is in flow mode, meaning the battery has been fully charged. We have 13.7. 100% charge so it looks like the the new battery is much better 
uh, accepting the charger to the previous one. So conclusion is it, the DeWalt 30 amp battery charger and a amp engine start does charge the battery fully and makes it work. The uh, problem is the battery has to be in reasonable shape before my previous one was pretty dead and recommended uh, highly replacement by the manufacturer. I'll show that in a second. You can see up on the screen the, the picture. So we'll, we'll go. So I do recommend getting this if you have a reasonable good battery and you can save the battery. But if the battery is too gone, this will not help you with anything. And this is also reasons why the engines start or anything. 